this episode we talk about following your dreams, where to go to buy a coconut hammer, reality TV sucks. Let's get started. He's on the road, he's on the air, it's the Joey Mac Commute. Hey, I'm Joey Mack, and this is the Joey Mack Commute. Uh, thanks for checking out the show. This actually marks the 11th episode, which is about one episode more than I thought it was going to last. Uh, honestly, when I started this thing, I didn't think I'd be able to convince anybody to uh, sit and chat with me during my morning commute, but so far so good. So here's to seeing how long I can keep this up. Uh, today's guest is Braca. Braca is a singer who just released her new EP. You're so familiar. I was comfortable. I don't think I can do it again. And uh, unlike other guests that I've booked for the show, she was actually the first person that reached out and contacted me and requested to be a guest. So right away, that uh, that makes me question her judgment. Just a little bit, but uh, yeah. Anyways, let's give her a call and see what she's up to. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am doing well. I'm anxious to chat with you. I was just, right when I was kind of talking you up, I was saying that I didn't think the show was going to last this long. Well, I think it's actually a brilliant concept because who who doesn't want to be entertained while you're doing your uh, driving commute yeah no work? i think it's a brilliant concept for me because i definitely want to be entertained while i'm driving to work but who wants to wake up early and talk to me while i'm driving into work that's the hard part i bought your ep like the day that it was released well i don't I'll, maybe it was the day it was released it was the day that i found out about it through your twitter just yeah. immediately picked it up and started listening to it. Listened to it all day at work. Listened to it on my drive home, and been listening to it ever since. So uh, it's called Hard Love, right? Um, well, the the video, the one oh, video right. that I've done is called Hard Love. That's right. The EP is called Body Politic. Body Politic. That's right. I was getting the the video yeah. and, the, and the album mix up. So, Body Politic. What is what's the meaning behind the word? Since this is the first body of work that I've put out, that's why I'm calling it like the body. Uh, and then um, and then the theme of the music, there's that Army of One song, which is very um, kind of metaphor for, you know, our military or the forces or can be a, a hardworking man that, you know, we revere his, um, his work ethic and so forth. And so... There's a little bit of politic in there. When I listened to the to the six tracks, like each song was very different from the next, and so yeah, and for yeah. me, for me, it was really easy to pick a favorite. Sometimes you get a, an album from an artist, and they kind of have a very set style. So when you listen to it, you're like, oh, I love these three songs or these four songs off the off the album because they're very similar. It's kind of to your taste. So for, right. for me, my favorite track was actually the first track, the time loop track. I thought it was really cool. Thank you. And that's actually my favorite track, too. <laughs> so um, even the way it's written, because it's written different than the other songs, too. Yeah, you know what? It reminds me of Dido. You remember Dido from back oh. in the day? I didn't hear you leave. I wonder how am I still here? Yes, yes, and actually my very best girlfriend, my roommate from college, that was her first comment about my music too, was that it reminded her of Dido. Every once in a while you kind of slip into this like Bjork sound. Just oh, I love that. That's the best compliment I've had ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, the producer, one of the producers I worked with, he is a super Bjork fan, so I could blame some of that influence on him too. What did you do before you got into music, and what made you decide to get into music? I know that you mentioned that you, uh, you know, you've know, you been singing ever since you've been a young kid, but what made yeah. you decide to finally release, release a... Oh, a goodness. Um, I, I'll make a very long story short. I, out of college, I was really into nutrition and, like, bodybuilding and, you know, the whole health nut scene, and so I did that for a little while. And 
that background turned into a dessert business for vegan and gluten-free people. And I ended up having that here in Dallas for a little over four years. And I just, you know, pretty much got tired of it. I'll say standing in your kitchen all day and delivering. And, you know, there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of money in the food business at all. And especially with a restaurant or a bakery, there's, it's only profitable when, when you franchise. Well, is, yeah. music, is the music business really that profitable these days? Absolutely not. Um, there are people are saying, you know, oh, I'll download your iTunes album and that should put some money in your pocket, yeah. but that you don't get any money on that really. No, uh, the so. margin is very low. Right. The only right. money that's in the music business is in live shows, the tours, and selling merchandise. Right. So it's really, and all of that comes with time. And that's something that I have to look at this in the long-term view and so it's yeah the reality is it's gonna take me a long time but I'm gonna do it because this is exactly what I want to do did you ever consider yeah. uh, tapping into that Kickstarter site to, to kind of fund your album or you know help with marketing you know, I and think, PR I, I think, think I will now I, I thought about it very briefly initially but I just thought I am I am a nobody at the moment, like coming coming out of nowhere. So it's harder to invest when you don't see what you're really investing in. And I think now that I have something tangible and a sound and an EP and a website and people can know exactly what they're getting into. One, one Kickstarter that I invested in was a freaking hammer to open coconuts. A hammer to open up coconuts? Like specifically to open up coconuts? Yes, it's just for, yeah, breaking through a coconut, but it's really awesome the way it's made, and it's not just like a hammer. Right. It's, <laughs> it's a hammer. More like a mallet. <laughs> it's a hammer built to open up coconuts. Yeah, yeah look yeah. it up. Coconut Jack. Yeah, you it's can. It's totally crazy, <laughs> and I even wore the t-shirt to the gym this morning. You've got shows like The Voice and American Idol and, you know, these... Kind of with the stars. Yeah, right. These kind of talent competition yeah. shows. Was that ever something that you looked into? Like, hmm, you know, maybe I can jumpstart my career by auditioning for one of these shows and kind of getting my face and my voice out there. Or was, or did you just kind of want to do it the old school way and just really do like a grassroots well, effort? And it's and not. It's not as like easy and fantastic as they make it look out to be. And also, I, I'm not into any reality shows. I'm barely into even any TV. What? I Who are you? Yeah, I, I think, think the, the demographic for that is so young. And I'm, you know, in my early 30s. I just don't know that I fit that mold. Yeah. So, no, I, that's I, why. I'm not into reality TV either, to be honest. I just, I, I want my TV to be scripted and produced. I'm old school. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, me too. I like a good plot. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. 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 Give me a good plot, not the made up stuff. <laughs> yeah, I wanna see I wanna see professional actors acting on T V, not some schmo, you know, that runs <laughs> know. that runs a pawn shop. I mean that's just ridiculous. I don't understand these reality shows. They're insane. I'm sound yeah. like a like a cr curmudgeon -y old man right now. I'm like, when I was young. TV was way better. Well, that'll do it for my commute. By the way, I'm insecure and kind of desperate for attention, so please leave a comment below or at least give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter at JoeyMacLive. Thanks for watching. I already am so appreciative that you're chatting with me online so your fan base can hear about my music too. Oh, my, so, yeah, my I teeny tiny it. fan base. I'll, I'll get you like one more download. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's one more person. Sure. <laughs> so, it all counts. It all counts.